to learn here. And, uh, you know, we need to stick together. And uh, I think that would be the best thing, the way this everything's going today. Um, or in this uh, world today. Uh, us gun guys need to stick together. We need to stop fighting and uh, to stop trying to pick fights. And uh, we just need to just stay and stick together. It's ridiculous how many times I get on YouTube and see all these fucking trolls come out and saying, Oh, your gun's a piece of shit. Uh, I got this gun and it's so much better. Dude, who cares what you have? Who, who cares if... You know, if this is the only gun I have and it's a piece of shit, by God, this is my piece of shit. And, uh, you know, not everyone has the luxury of having guns. I mean, you know, look at look at England over there, you know, where they took all their fucking handguns away from them. What you're going to do is, uh, that's off topic, I'm getting, I'm getting all political and shit. Just, uh, go in there and scrub that shit. In there. And then, uh, you can take, uh, this rag's really kind of too big, but you take a rag, and run her down through there. Here, I'll tell you what. The dirty shop towel, but... That shit's dried on there. And you're just gonna run this shit down through there. I just twist it a little bit. Now some people say, oh, you, you know, you don't really gotta clean that. It's not that, that big of a deal. Just run something through it once and you're done. But, you know, like, my philosophy is if you're gonna do something at least make an attempt to do it somewhat right. Um, don't half-ass anything that you do in life. Because, believe me, it will bite you in the ass. Um, you know, put some effort into it. Especially if you're going to buy a gun, you know. You don't want to just throw all that money away because you decided, well, I don't want to clean it today or I don't want to clean it tomorrow. You know, just fucking clean it. If you like guns, it won't be a problem. Just enjoying that uh, smell of gun solvent and gunpowder when you fire that gun, man. It makes cleaning it all worthwhile because you know that uh, your gun's going to last. So you can shoot it another day. Or defend your family or your country if need be. The towel heads come over here. We're ready. How do you just run this back and forth? At least that's what I do. Right like that. Pull it out. And we're clean. So we'll set that aside. Okay. And, uh... We'll come over here with this white towel. And uh, the receiver, you don't need to do nothing with it. You need to give it a good wipe down. You know, clean it off. Or the receiver cover. Yeah. Just wipe it inside down because you will get some, a little bit, not, not a lot, but a little bit of deposit stuff on there. Just wipe it down, won't hurt. It's already off, might as well clean it. So that's done. The cleaning rods and the gun, you just go over it once. That's done. Uh, your spring, uh, or your, uh, I guess it'd be a recoil spring, wouldn't it? Uh, just uh, wipe that once. You don't really need to do anything with that. As far as lubing it or anything, you don't really need to. Um, wipe the thumb thing off here. That's done. Your wood. Wipe that down inside. Sometimes there'll be some gunk, like right there on the on the uh, right there on the edge. Wipe that down. Okay. And your upper. Just wipe it down. Make sure your shit don't fall out of it. If it does, pick it up. And. Uh, Put it back in there. 
And then after that, now yeah, hold on, can get some of it in there. Okay. After that, set that aside. Okay. Now we have to reassemble, and uh, it looks like I'm going to make a part two or part three on this video to do a final reassembly of the AK-74 after fully field stripping and cleaning it. Uh, so I'll see you guys soon. Okay. This will be uh, the final part. Um, the uh, reassembling of the AK-74. Um, basically what you're going to want to start to do is, uh, I mean, it really doesn't matter except when it comes down to some parts. I mean, obviously, you can take your bolt, your bolt carrier, and you can go ahead and uh, uh, put those two things together. Um, if I haven't told you yet, um, you could uh, run some lube on the uh, bolt carrier here, which I've already done, or the bolt, I'm sorry, and then uh, that'll be fine for the bolt carrier. Um, just set that in there like so. Nope. Got it in wrong. Okay. I see how that, uh, I know you don't see. Alright, see how that's riding? Well, right, okay. And you can set that aside. Okay, you can get your, uh, AK here. You can, uh, go ahead and, uh, put your uh, gas tube back in. There's a tab right there. It should... Let's see here. If I remember correctly... There. Okay, so the tab should be uh, facing up. And, uh, just stick that in there like that, like so. The tab facing up. Make sure it's in there nice and, uh, well, not tight, but just make sure it's in there, you know what I'm talking about. And, uh, then you're going to want to, um, go ahead and, uh, put on your... Hand guards here. And get the caps put down in there. Okay. Go ahead and start putting your hand guards on. Like so. Make sure it's down in there. Okay. And then uh now make sure both these tabs in here are on the in the same direction, obviously. Uh, of course, you'll see that because you have to take it back off because you didn't do it right. Okay. And they'll kind of squeeze together a little bit. And then you just bring down, uh, I'm sorry, bring down this piece here. Slide it on there. Get it on all the way around. And then uh, you take that tab. You push that with a uh, screwdriver, and uh, you take it, and you push it back around, which I might have to get me a screwdriver this time. Okay, now we will You push that back, around, and down. Okay. So that's on there. You got your gas tube, your hand guard on, and ready to go. Okay, and then the uh, next step you can do uh, is uh, actually, remember what I told you about the last, the, the last thing we do is the oil. And um, you could probably, instead of putting it in your receiver, you could probably take the bolt carrier and uh, just, just, um, just put a dab of oil, like right here, right there, just a dab. and dab.